Okay guys, so I'm going to go over how to do 6.4. Sorry I'm not here today, but hopefully this works. This whole worksheet is about Pervnert, PV equals NRT. In part one, you're just filling out the variables. P means that pressure. What units is it for pressure? Always going to be atmospheres. If you see it in things like millimeters of mercury or tor or kPa, you're going to have to convert into atmospheres. This equation part right here means what would the main equation look like if we were solving for P. In this case, in order to get the, I'm going to write it again over here so you can see it, in order to get the P by itself, we have to move the V. So we're going to move the V over here. Since it's multiplied here, it's going to be divided over here. So you end up with P equals NRT over V. Okay, And that's how you're going to fill out this chart. Now go over to part two, and I'm going to do one of the example problems for you. Oh, wait. Did you get all that copied down? Sorry. Get all that copied down. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to do one of the example problems for you. Okay, this problem says I have four moles of a gas at a pressure of 5.6 atm and a volume of 12 liters. What is the temperature? Okay, so again, the equation we're using is PV equals nRT. Go ahead and write out all our variables. PV and R T. Okay. P is pressure right there. 5.6 atmospheres. V is volume right there. 12 liters. N is number of moles right there. 4 moles. R is always, 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 always going to be 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres over moles Kelvin, or Kelvin moles, whatever. Okay, And T is what we're solving for. That's our unknown. So if we reorganize this equation to solve for T, which you should have done in the chart above, you end up with T equals PV over NR. Okay? Once we get to that point, it is just plug and chug. So T equals... 5.6 atmospheres times V, 12 liters, divided by N, 4 moles, and R, 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres over moles Kelvin. Okay. Then we can cross out all the units that are the same, atmospheres, atmospheres, liters, liters, mole, mole, we're left with Kelvin, which is cool because that's the unit for temperature. And then you just plug it all into your calculator. So I have 5.6 times 12 divided by, where's the parentheses on this thing? Oh, well. Divided by 4. Wait, hold on. I'm going to do this another way. 5.6 times 12 equals 67.2 over 4 times 0 0.0821. 0 0.3284. Clear. So that is 67.2 divided by 0 0.32 oops backspace 3284 which gives me 204.6 kelvin okay cool deal